Praise Him with resounding cymbals, praise Him with triumphant cymbals, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is life and life, and the living know hypnotic fun. Spirit of wisdom, spirit of understanding, God upright noetic, ruling, purging offenses. God in defying, he is fire issuing from fire, uttering and inciting, distributing the gifts of grace. Through him the prophets and the apostles of God and the martyrs all were crowned. Strange to hear and strange to see fire distributed from the apportioning of gifts.
Glory to you have shown forth the light. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to man. We praise you, we bless you, we worship you, we glorify you. We give thanks to you for your great glory. Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit. Lord, God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you who take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, For your you merciful who God sit and loves at the and right glory, hand of the Father, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. And have mercy on us, for you only art holy, you only are the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless you and praise your name forever and to the ages of ages. Grant, Lord, that we may be kept this day without sin. Blessed are you, O God, God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name. Together to the ages of ages, amen. May your mercy be upon us, Lord, the God of mercies, even and as we have hoped in you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, you've been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, Lord, have mercy upon me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Lord, to you I fled, teach me to do your will, for you are my God, for in you is the source of life. In your light we shall see life. Extend your mercy upon us who know you. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, Lord, immortal, Lord, have mercy on us. Agios o Theos, Agios is heroes, Agios Athanatos eleison imas. Holy God, the holy, the holy mighty, upon those at holy the immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. And of all your saints, to the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Vlogitosi Christe, O Theosi, Mon, O Pansofu, Tu Sali, Αναδείξας καταπέμψας αυτή στο πνεύμα το Άγιον και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένη σαργηνεύσας φιλανθρώπε εδώ εξάσι. O blessed are you, O Christ our God, who have shown forth the fishermen as all wise by sending down the Holy Spirit upon them into your net. All creation has thus gathered glory to you. On this day that we celebrate the great feast of Pentecost, I greet you with much love and joy. Today, as we do each Sunday, and we pray that the Holy Spirit comes down upon this bread and wine, changing it to the body and blood of Christ. Today on Pentecost, be ever mindful of the Holy Spirit's presence here right now and in your lives. The Holy Spirit transforms, heals, and does all things according to the Father's will. May the Holy Spirit inspire us to be those people of God we are called to be. 
Blessed is the kingdom. Evlogimani Vasilia to Patros, Ketuyu, Ketuayi, Upnevmatos, Ninke Ayi, Kes to Seonas, Toneonon. And it in it to Kiriu, they thomen. Iria they so. Pertisan of the Nirinis, Ketisotiria, Stom Sihonimon, to Kiriu, they thomen. Iria they so. Pertisirinis to Simbandos Cosmo, F. Stathia, Stonagion, to Theoclision, Ketiston Band and Enosos, to Kiriu, they thomen. Υπέρ του Αγίου Ικουτού του και των μεταπίστεως ευλαβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών τον εν αυτό του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊσό. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our Archbishop Alexius, for the Honorable Presbyterate, for the Diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our country, for the President, and for all in public service, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy and great Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, for this parish and city, for every city and land, and for the faithful who live in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For favorable weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for mm. peaceful times, mm. let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, and from the perils of the coronavirus against us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our brethren and those who lead the fight against the coronavirus, the doctors, the medical workers, the scientists and first responders, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, God, Lord have mercy. Our power is beyond commemorating our most is holy, pure, blessed, and glorious mercy Lady, with Theotokos and, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole Look upon life us unto and Christ upon this our holy house God. and your compassion. Grant to us and to those who pray with us your abundant mercy. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Of his life. Tes presvies tis theotokos, sotes soson imas. Day to day out of speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. Through the intercessions of the theotokos, Savior, save us. There is no speech, no language, where their voices are not heard. Tes presvies tis theotokos, sotes soson Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, 
Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, and our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. Who you, O Lord. For yours is the dominion, the kingdom, and the power <laughs> and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. May the Lord hear you in the day of affliction, and may the name of God Jacob defend you. So soni mas para claite agite salon dasi alleluia. May he send you help from his holy place, and may I support you from Zion. Save us, so holy comforter. Save us who sing to you, alleluia. May he remember every sacrifice of yours, and may your whole burnt offering be honored. O monogenisios que logos tu Theo, athanatos y pagón, que cacal examen los tiatin y meteran sotirian, sacocine, etis a guías de otoco, que ahí paten marías, antrepos en antropisas, sabrotis de cristeo Theos, Thanaton, thanaton, patisas. Ison, tisagias triados, sin doxas o menos do patri, que to agio prevati, so son ima. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Come, our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For you are a good and loving God, and you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and the ages of ages. Amen. Ευλογή το εσύ Χριστέ ο Θεός ημών ο πανσόφος τους αλλήγης αναδείξας κατά πέμψας αυτής το πνεύμα το Αγίον και δι' αυτό Comforter, we sing to you, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Christ our God, who have shown forth the fishermen as all wise by sending the Holy Spirit down unto them. In 
into your net. All of creation thus is gathered. Glory to you, full of mankind. <speaking in Hebrew> Κατά πέμψα σ' αυτή στο πνεύμα το Αγίον και δι' αυτόν την οικουμένη σαν γυνεύσας φιλάνθρωπε δοξάνωση. When the Most High God descended to earth below, He divided the nation by confusing tongue. Over the apostles He dispersed tongues of fire, thereby calling all mankind to unity. Thus with one voice we glorify the O Holy Spirit. Tu Kiriu Veithomen, For you are holy, our God, and to you we give glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Amen. Lord have mercy. Holy God, you dwell among your saints. Through your face, let us share with us. Let us share with us. You give wisdom and understanding to suffer. You give the Lord 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 Have with conviction. Their voice has gone out into all the earth. The heavens declare the glory of God. Wisdom. The reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Let us be attentive. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place. And suddenly, a sound from heaven like the rush of a mighty wind. And it was filling the house where all were seated. And there appeared to them as tongues as of fire, distributed and resting on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And at this sound the multitude came together, and they were bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. And they were amazed and wondered, saying, Are not all who are speaking Galatians? And how is it that we hear each of us in his own language? Parthenians and Medes, Elamites and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Figra and Pamphylia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes. Cretans and Arabians, 
we hear them telling in their own tongues the mighty works of God. Peace be with you, the reader. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Shine within our hearts, Lord, the pure light of God. Open our minds that we may comprehend the message of your gospel. Instill in us reverence for your blessed commandments so that having conquered sinful desires, we may pursue a spiritual life thinking and doing all those things that are pleasing to you. For you, O Christ, are God, the light of our souls and bodies, and you have glory with your Father without beginning. In your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Wisdom arise, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with you all. And with your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. On the last day of the feast, the great day, Jesus stood up and proclaimed, If anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, out of his heart shall flow rivers of living water. Now this he said about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were to receive, for as yet the Spirit had not been given, because Jesus was not yet glorified. When they heard these words, some of the people said, this is truly the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ. But some said, is the Christ to come from Galilee? Has not the scripture said that the Christ had descended from David and comes from Bethlehem, the village where David was? So there was a division among the people over him. Some of them wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. The officers then went back to the chief priests and the Pharisees who said to them, why did you not bring him? The officers answered, no man has ever spoke like this man. The Pharisees answered them, are you led astray, you also? Have any of the authorities or of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd who does not know the law are accursed. Nicodemus, who had gone to him before and who was one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man without first giving him a hearing and learning what he does? They replied, Are you from Galilee too? Search, and you will see that no prophet is to rise from Galilee. Again Jesus spoke to them, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Peace be with you, proclaims the gospel. before you are loving God and ask that you hear our prayer, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that we may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. And grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. O quasi cotu cratu supando te filatomeni, si zoc sanana pembo men, to patrike to io, ke to agio pneumatinin ke agi, ke isus eonas to neono. Amin. No one bound by worldly desires will approach the journey or minister to you, the King of Glory. For the heavenly powers, but look up your measurable and measurable love for us, you became man without alteration or change. You have served as our high priest and Lord of all, and trusted to us the celebration of this liturgical sacrifice without the shedding of blood. For you alone, Lord our God, rule over all things in heaven and on earth. You are seated on the throne of the cherub and the Lord of the seraph and the King of Israel. You alone are holy and good among your saints. You alone are good and ready to hear. Therefore, I implore you, look upon me, your sinful and unworthy servant. 
cleanse my soul and heart from an evil conscience. Enable me by the power of your Holy Spirit, so vested with the grace of priesthood, I may stand before your holy table and celebrate the mystery of your holy and pure body and your precious blood. To you I come with bowed head and pray, do not turn your face away from me, nor reject me from among your children, but rather make me your sinful and unworthy servants, worthy to offer to you these gifts. For you, O Christ, our God, of the offer and the offer the one who receives is distributed. And to make good, good glory with your eternal Father and your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. See the King of all visibly supported by the angelic host. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We do basically represent the cherubim, sing the Christ, holy hymn to the life giving Trinity. Let us lay aside all worldly cares. And we hail the resurrection of Christ and the worship the one who Lord Jesus only sent us one. We venerate your cross of Christ and we praise and glorify your holy resurrection. For you are God. We know no other than you. We call upon your name. Come all faithful. Let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ that through the cross joy has come to all the world. Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blood on my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight. That you are justified in your sentence and blameless in judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity and in sin among the barren. Behold, you desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Fill my heart with joy and gladness. Let the bones that you are broken rejoice. Hide your face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create me a clean heart without a clean and right spirit in me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Which joy me the joy of salvation from the Holy Spirit. Then they shall teach you and your your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation. And my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. For you would no delight in sacrifice, were I to give up an offering, you would not deliver. A sacrifice acceptable to God, a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O God. You will not despise. Do good, O Lord, to the pleasure of Zion. And let the walls of Jerusalem be built, then they shall offer bullocks upon your altar. And have mercy upon me, O God. O God, forgive me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Pandote ninke ahi keisus eonas ton eono. Creed voi petutes drepti mare tori Lord Christin salva pomeniasca domnem nule dumnezu. In true un parasia sa to edia ye wana kume she purga she veci veci lore. Amen. The Gospel book spomiene svena tsar vos voye 
svada sadeki uveki u sve veku var. Amen. El Señor Dios te acuerde de nosotros en su reino eternamente ora y siempre por los siglos de los siglos. Amen. May the Lord God remember all you in his kingdom both now and forever, and under the ages of ages. May the Lord remember you, appreciate your own precious and precious and precious by the angelic host, by the angelic host, by angelic host. Bullock shall be offered upon your altar, and have mercy upon me, O God. The noble Joseph, taking down your most pure and spotless body, anointed with aromatic spices, and laid it in a new tomb. Prirosamente nei sini monto querido, querida lei sol. Ti perdo protestando ti mi ancoron, querido dei sol me. Querida lei sol. Ti perdo a io e cu tu tu che tu metta piste o se vlavia aske fo voti o esi onde le nafto tu querido dei tomon. For a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us ask the Lord. A faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. Forgiveness, remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask the Lord. For that which is good and beneficial for our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a creation into our lives, peaceful without shame and suffering, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ, let us ask the Lord. And this, o Lord. Remember in our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. O you, o Lord. Through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you With one mind we may confess. Altogether, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, 
true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshiped and glorified, who spoke to the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Stomen calos, stomen metaphovu, proscomentina yena na foran, and irini prosferin. Eleon irini, sisian en The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper. It is proper and right to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, and to worship in all place of your dominion. For you are God ineffable beyond comprehension, invisible beyond understanding, existing forever, and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all the things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us. We also thank you for this liturgy, which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels by the cherubim and the seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying, the Lord, Sabbath, heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Hosanna to God in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Together with these blessed powers, merciful master, we also proclaim and say, you are holy and most holy, and you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he gave himself up for the life of the world, he came and filled the divine plan for us. He took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands. He gave thanks, he blessed, he sanctified, and he broke it. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take eat, this is my body which is broken for you for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete foyete tutum estito soma to iperimon kolomenon isafes in amartion. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Pietex of tu pondas tuto estito emamu. Totis genis diathikis, to hyperimon ke polone hinomenon, is apes in amartion. Amen. si prospero men catapanda ke diapanda, we offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you this spiritual worship and we ask, pray, and entreat you 
Send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon the gifts here presented. Bless the holy bread. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless the holy And cup. that which is in this cup, the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, bless both Changing holy Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that they may be to those who partake of them for vigilance of soul, communion with the Holy Spirit, forgiveness of sins, fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, copy of the of heaven, nation. Again, we offer the spiritual worship for those who are opposed the faith, forefathers, fathers, spirits, prophets, apostles, preachers, and angels, martyrs, confessors, and for every one's spirit made perfect in the faith. Sacrando a perevlo y meni sendok su despini si monte o toku que hay parte en un maria. Him who cannot be contained, you have become the place of rest of your infinite Creator. You do we magnify. Above all, remember, Lord Archbishop Alexios, grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him honorable and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. Also remember, Lord, those whom each of us calls to mind, and all your people. And all your people. Remember, Lord, the city in which we live, every city and country, and the faithful who live in them. Remember, Lord, the travelers, the sick, the suffering, the captives, granting them protection and salvation. Remember, Lord, those who do charitable work, who serve in your holy churches and who care for the poor, and send your mercy upon us all. And we pray, O oh Lord, for those who are enduring religious persecution throughout the world, for peace in the Ukraine, for the softening of the hearts of the aggressors. We pray, O oh Lord, for those lives lost and those suffering from devastating shootings in America. We pray, O oh Lord, for Eleni, Ron, Lubov, Kay, Steve, Denise, Margarita, Gus, George, Sergio, Rita, Jason, Gina, Dimitrio, Sofia, Aram, Dean, Spiridon, Eve, Desiree, Peter, Helen, Claudia, Vic, Vika, Consandino, Alexander, and family, James, Luca, Dimitrios, Rocco, and for those battling the COVID-19 virus. Grant. And grant that with one voice and with one heart we may praise and glorify <laughs> your most honored and majestic <laughs> name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. And may the mercy of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, be with you all. And with your spirit. I greet you with much love and joy this morning. On behalf of our St. Mark family, we welcome those who participated in the Ahepa and Daughters District 2 Citrus Convention here at Saint in Boca Raton. Welcome to our beautiful church. Many of you have come before and it's a joy to have you with us. Today in coffee hour, I invite all of you to come as our Ahepa will be sponsoring it, but also very important, as you go in coffee hour, you'll have a great opportunity. At Saint Mark, each and every year, during this time of the year, we prepare ourselves for the school year. We're a few months out, of course, but it's important to remember that as we move forward, we will be participating in the Backpack for Florence Fuller. 
Florence Fuller is, of course, a school here with underprivileged children and their need of great help. And each year we donate anywhere from 75 to 100 basket, um, backpacks. Today in the hall there'll be a table set up. Our goal this year is 100. We already have 25 that are donated. Those of you watching online can click on the little icon in the corner that says donate to Florence Fuller and you can do that and Allie and Michelle are leading this effort and they will put the bags together, do the shopping and prepare. Or you may do your own shopping and do that as well. This past week at St. Mark, our church was filled every day with over a hundred young people in the hall. And it was indeed, we had our St. Mark summer camp and it was so beautiful to come back and to see these young people led by Father Alex, to see them growing in their faith. They started with Orthodox life and prayers every morning. They did arts and crafts. They did, I can't even tell you what they did. It was just magnificent, but it was such a beautiful week and I thank God for that. We continue our efforts, of course, with youth ministry at St. Mark uh, in a few weeks our bus will be leaving for St. Stephen's camp. Sophia Valadares is taking the difficult task with Stephen Gale Romain. They'll be driving 30 of our young people from our church for about a 12 hour drive to, it's 12 hours, I'm sorry, Sophia, 12 hour drive through the night to South Carolina where together we will join with 100 other campers from throughout the metropolis. Indeed a blessing. A few weeks after that, we have our Ionian Village program that we have actually preceding that. We have this year, Kia, who's going, Jojo Porras, and Michael Masterakis, and also I'll be leaving. I love you all, but I'll be leaving to be the priest for session one. So I wanna lovingly remind you that next Sunday will be my last Sunday here, and then following, I'll be gone for three weeks at Ionian Village. After the camp for the three weeks, I'll take a little break, a little vacation with my, with my family as well. But I remind you of that because it's very important. I'm not gonna be checking email and I'm not gonna be responding to my cell phone. I'm hopefully not even gonna have it. So just a reminder to you all. But also what's important of course is that as we gather for our camping ministries, we are reminded of how important it is for us to always be learning about our faith. And we do so not just at a young age, but as we grow older as well. Never stop learning about your faith. Because of that also, and I do this with love to you all, I'm not gonna be going into the coffee hour today because I have to do a test in four days for a COVID test. And if I fail it, I can't go to Ionian Village. So I love you all, but I'm gonna take a step back and. You can enjoy Father Alex and Father Alexander and everyone in the hall. God bless you all. Let's continue to pray. Following the divine liturgy, we'll offer prayers and the vespers of the Holy Spirit, asking the Holy Spirit to come down upon us and illumine the world. Amen. Having commembered all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts here presented and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That our God who loves mankind, having accepted that his holy, celestial, and mystical altar as an offering of spiritual fragrance, may in return send down upon us the divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves in one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We entrust you, loving Mass, to our whole life and hope. And we ask, pray, and supplicate, send down your worth, worthy, make us worthy of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual altar with a clear conscience, through the mission of sins, forgiveness of transgressions, communion of the Holy Spirit, inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, confidence before you, and not in judgment or condemnation. <laughs> Akatakaritos tolman epicaliste se tone puranion theon patera kelehin paterimon o endis uranis ayasito tonomasu efeto vasiliasu yerifizo to thelimasu os en urano ke epitizis 
Το νάτο ημών των επιγύσεων δώσε μην σήμερα και άφησε μην τα ωφελήματα ημών ω και εμεί αφήνουμε του φελέτε ημών και εμεί ενήγησε εμά του πειρασμών αλλά ρίσε εμά από το πονηρό. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. from heaven upon those of us who have bowed their heads before you. We have bowed not before flesh and blood, but before you, the awesome God. Guide the course of our life for our benefit. According to the need of each of us, sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel, heal the sick, physician of our souls and our bodies. By the grace, mercy, and love for us of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life-giving spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us be attentive, proscomen. This is the holy gifts for the holy people of God. The Lamb of God is broken and distributed, broken, you're not divided for every need, every consumed, sanctified those who are taken. Jesus Christ, our sweet God, the cobblestone of the faith and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus Christ, oh God, forgive me, a sinner, and have mercy. Oh God, forgive me, a sinner, and have mercy. Oh God, forgive me, a sinner. Oh God, forgive me, a sinner. Oh God, forgive me, a sinner. Behold, I approach Christ, and one of the King and our God, the Lord, the Holy Body of our Lord God, and Savior Jesus Christ. He's given to me work to be increased the remission of sins and life is eternal. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, Amen. At the time of our baptism, we are baptized into the faith, but we are also receive a second sacrament that day, and that's the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. You hear the words, Svarayis Doreas, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, and that is chrismation. It's a physical manifestation of the Holy Spirit. In the West, they would call that confirmation, but we call that chrismation. So at our baptisms, we receive holy baptism and we receive holy chrism. And that's very important as we begin our life in Christ. The Holy Spirit is indeed upon us at the time of our baptism. We live our lives, we make mistakes, we sin, we fall, we get back up, but the Holy Spirit is always in us. And that's something to remember. No matter how much, and I'll point to you, you sin, no matter how much I sin, the Holy Spirit is still within me. But sometimes, because of the difficulties in this world, because of sometimes the sins we do, because of the obstacles that we put forth in our lives, sometimes we can't see clearly. We can't fully have our hearts ready and prepared. And the Holy Spirit is there, but sometimes it's, I like to say, covered up. So sometimes I would do an experiment with little children at camp and I would say, here's an icon, the icon of Christ. Now take a sticky note. And each one of those represents sin. Now you take that sticky note, every time you sin, you put it on the icon. And in a few moments, that icon is filled with post-it notes and you cannot see Christ. 
The Holy Spirit is still there. Christ is still there. But sometimes it makes it harder to see. Today the church, and it's one of my favorite feast days, celebrates Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is everywhere, filling all things we read. The hymns of the church are magnificent. Something unnatural and uncommon was heard today. For by the grace of the Spirit, the voice of each disciple spoke a variety of languages, and therefore the people's tongues and races heard the mighty works of God and learned about the Holy Trinity. How powerful is that? The mighty works of God, and they learned the power of the Holy Trinity. These were simple fishermen. These were not educated people at all. But on this day, they received the Holy Spirit. I'm looking here because that's our icon. As you leave, you have to look at it. And you see little fires upon each of their heads. Simple fishermen receiving the gift of the Holy Spirit, svrayis Zoreas, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit upon them, and they became mighty followers of Christ. Later on, we read, O speedy and constant consolation, give us your servants, O Jesus, when our spirits become despondent. Do not part our souls when we are in trouble, nor be far from our minds when we are in peril. But draw near to us, draw near, O you who are everywhere. I love to give this saying to people. When I was a young clergyman in Denver, my chancellor taught me this. He said, Father Mark, if you wrestle with pigs, you're going to get dirty. And how true is that? When we surround ourselves in muck, we're going to get dirty. When we surround ourselves with situations that might not be holy or heavenly, we're going to become tainted. When we surround ourselves and associate with people who drag us down, people who may be insult us, people who bring us anxiety, we're going to become like that. The Holy Spirit lives in each of us. Yes, if you wrestle with pigs, you're going to get dirty, but even a dirty pig can be cleaned. Not fully, but almost. So if you think about it, it's truly magnificent that the Holy Spirit comes upon us and the holy disciples today and refreshes our souls. We draw near. We draw near to Christ. And as you are always with your apostles, so unite us who long for the compassionate. When we have a pure heart, we can receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit was in us, but when our heart is pure, it makes it much more palatable. And some of the ways that we receive the Holy Spirit we purify our hearts, is that we prepare ourselves. We don't just live our lives without thinking about God, but rather we make God the center of our lives. We put Christ in every decision we make. When we fall, we all do. I do as well. You get up. When you turn your back on the altar, you turn and face the east and keep walking toward Jesus. Today, when the Holy Spirit comes down upon us, it gives us this great opportunity to turn around, to not wrestle with pigs, but to purify our hearts and walk toward our Savior. Today is an awesome day because we are given, really, new life. We are given an opportunity to live in the Spirit. Something and unnatural and uncommon was heard today. But these disciples became men of God. These fishermen became holy. My brothers and sisters, today when you hear the prayers of asking the Holy Spirit to come down upon us, pray in your heart that first and foremost your heart is ready to receive the Holy Spirit. And then ask the Holy Spirit to come upon you and transform your life. Transform every part of your being. Pray for that. That's my prayer for you, that the Lord will truly inspire you. I know that 
when you put your focus on Christ, you purify your hearts, you open your hearts, and they're ready to receive him. These simple fishermen became disciples of the Lord, teachers of the faith, saints of the church. Imagine what you can become if you purify your hearts and receive the Holy Spirit. It's such a powerful day, and I pray that the Holy Spirit, who is always among us today, shines forth from within us so that we too can call Christ our King, our Master, and our Savior. As you approach to receive the body and blood of Christ, we approach with fear and with not fear as in scared, but fear the awesomeness of God. Let him enter into your life. And then as we pray for the Holy Spirit, let that Holy Spirit transform you. And I'll leave you with the words today, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit, receive the Holy Spirit. Purify your mind, purify your thoughts, purify your hearts, and let the Holy Spirit reside in you and dwell from you. In your name we ask and pray, amen. <clears throat> Together let us read the prayers before Holy Communion. From the back of the green hymnal. I believe and confess, Lord, that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. I also believe that this is truly your pure body and this is truly your precious blood. Therefore, I pray to you, have mercy upon me and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, known and unknown, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake of your pure mysteries for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Amen. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I dare to enter the bridal chamber, my clothing will accuse me, since it is not a wedding garment, and being bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Loving Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be to my condemnation because of my unworthiness, but for the cleansing and sanctification of soul and body and the pledge of the future life and kingdom. It is good for me to cling to God and to place in Him the hope of my salvation. Receive me today, Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not betray your mysteries to your enemies, nor give you a kiss as did Judas, but as the thief I confess you, Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Metaphovu theu pisteos, ke agapis proselfete. With the fear of God, faith, love, draw near. Do your good spirit shall guide me in the land of declare the glory of God, the firmament shows the creation of his hand, your good spirit shall guide me in the land of righteousness. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were established, and all the hosts of your good spirit guide the land of the uprightness. For he looked down on the height of the holy saints, and the Lord backed up the earth from the heavens. Oh, 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 oh,